There comes a time in one's professional life where he or she must learn how to use Microsoft Office. Sure, there's alternatives like Google Docs, but let's face it, the majority of the world uses Microsoft Office. And yes, we've all used it, but there's always something that never goes quite right. If you're using something like Excel on a daily basis, you could literally waste hundreds of hours due to inefficiency. When I graduated college and entered the workforce, I actually found myself in this position. So I was desperate to try to find ways that I could save myself time on my daily tasks. I took it upon myself to learn Microsoft Office and it saved me a lot of time and headaches. My name is Ricky Garcia and today I'm going to be sharing my top four resources with you on how to master Microsoft Office. Let's get started. The only free resource on this list is also one of the best. The Office Training Series provides instruction on a multitude of programs for both PC and Mac. Training is primarily delivered in video format with some instruction given through text. While there's no interactivity included with the lessons, the audio and video quality are excellent, making it easy to stay focused on the course. The material ranges from beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And I find it surprising that this hasn't really gained a lot of popularity. Each video only gets about a thousand views on average. This is definitely a hidden gem worth checking out. Second on the list is the Professor Teaches series. So the Professor Teacher series is an interactive software that you can use even if you don't have Microsoft Office installed on your computer at home. Aside from the price, this is its biggest advantage. The program works like a point and click puzzle. Click on the correct tab, button, etc. and you'll advance to the next step in the course. So this software covers Outlook, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, OneNote, and Access. Currently on Amazon, the 2013 version sells for $13.99. A real bargain. This software is best for novices or someone looking to solidify their office foundation. Now be aware that the production quality of the instruction is between medium and medium low. Still, if you're just starting out, this is a cheap way to advance your skills. Up next is the Bible series, published by Wiley, and it's the most robust resource of the lot. The authors really know their topics very well, and the presentation is clear and simple. Well, as simple as it can be. Some resources are available for download, but I hardly use them, and instead I use this as a reference book. That being said, I've read each one from cover to cover, and I definitely learned something along the way. The Microsoft series can be rather expensive. As of this recording, the Office 2013 library, which includes Word, PowerPoint, Access, and Excel, sells for $70 used. A hefty price, but with each book being well over 700 pages, you're definitely getting your money's worth. And the last resources I used were the Microsoft Office Specialist Study Guides. And these were used to help individuals study for a Microsoft Office or MOS certification. And let me be straight with you. They will help, but if you use these books as your primary resource uh, for this certification, you're most likely going to fail. Despite this, the books are an excellent resource and a good way to enforce your knowledge. Each book is designed to be used with exercise files that are available for download. And the combination of reading and applying the information gleaned from the actual application is unparalleled. Currently, each book sells for about $19 on Amazon. A word of caution, not all the answers are found in the book. And you'll need to Google some of the answers. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing and actually reflects what will happen in real life. Oh, and one more thing. While I haven't used any of these myself for learning Microsoft, there are plenty of online resources to use that will also help teach you this software. Some include lynda.com, Udemy, Pluralsight, and countless YouTube channels, such as Excel is Fun. Be sure to check them out. So as you can see, there are a lot of resources out there to help you learn these programs. But the most important thing is that you get started. There's a saying that goes, once you've begun, you're halfway there. And that really holds true here. Once you've started, you're gonna find it's easier to keep that momentum going forward and you'll have a sense of direction. Do you have a favorite resource of your own? Be sure to leave it in the comments and we'll have a discussion about it. Once again, my name is Ricky. Thanks for checking out this video. And remember, 
always be learning.